YouTube, Davy VTV, Davy V with you. You know that it's getting crazy out here when I'm actually losing track of all the different uh, incidents of stolen Kias, uh, stolen Hyundais, smashing grabs, um, absolutely disturbing, absolutely disgusting. And at the core of this, as you'll see in other videos that I'll be posting soon, is the fact that many parents, not all, but many parents, many deadbeat parents know exactly what's going on and they simply don't care or they have basically lost any and all control over their fucking kids. Absolutely disgusting. The latest incident, a 14-year-old steals a car in Gates, New York and leads Gates, New York police officers uh, on a chase to and through the city of Rochester, New York, um, where he put innocent lives at risk, uh, innocent motorist lives at risk, as well as pedestrians, before crashing the car and rolling it over. As always, thank you for watching Davy VTV. Roll the video. Police are searching for a third suspect in connection to a chase this morning, which started in the town of Gates and ended when the car rolled over in the city of Rochester. This is all tied back to these Kia and Hyundai thefts. A teen and an adult suspect have since been taken into custody. Isabel Garcia joining us now live from Gates Police Headquarters with the latest details. Isabel. Yes, good evening to both of you. Sadly, this is now all too common of a situation. Thankfully, no one was injured in this whole ordeal, but with this stolen Kia, a 14-year-old was allegedly behind the wheel. Uh, this 14-year-old boy has since been taken to the Monroe County Family Court for arraignment. Meanwhile, the 22-year-old also in the car, now identified as Keyshawn Essig. He is charged with criminal possession of stolen property in the third degree, as well as obstructing a governmental administration in the second degree, and he has since been released. Now, according to the Gates Police Chief Robert Long, this ordeal first began around 9.30 this morning when officers were called to the 1900 block of Chile Ave for the report of a car doing donuts in the roadway, causing disruption to traffic. Now, that car then drove into a driveway at a home on the street where an officer tried to block them in, another officer standing by on Chile Ave. However, that's when police say that stolen Kia sped up in reverse over a neighbor's lawn, jumped a curb, and struck the front end of a Gates police car on Chile Ave. Now, this then prompted the chase, but police say they lost sight of that Kia after it blew through a wooden stockade fence towards the northeastern part of the city, eventually locating it after it flipped over by Norton Street, with police observing a three suspects running off. And the timeline, though, really begins in the overnight hours. The Kia chased in this incident was first reported stolen in the city of Rochester around 3 a.m. off of Durgan Street. Now, in that incident, the 911 caller also reported the suspects stealing the car also left behind another car in the roadway. That second car also turned out to be a different stolen Kia and we're told it was still at the victim's house when RPD got there. Now police are working to determine if there is any connection to this case with any other cases. We have uh, quite a, a few recent cases down in our Child Avenue corridor, corridor here in the town of Gates. Um, I want to say in the last week or two, we've had three or four cars just happen to be stolen in the same area where these uh, youths were found today. So whether or not that's in connection, we will be reviewing some video that we have and trying to put all the pieces together. Um, unfortunately, this is going to be a lengthy investigation with the amount of different vehicles that are stolen throughout the, the area. But if we can tie it back, we will. Once again, that 22-year-old suspect who was in custody, Keyshawn Essig, has since been released. The 14-year-old who was allegedly the driver sent to family court and will, of course, to continue to follow the story as it further develops. For now, though, we'll send it back to you in the studio reporting live in Gates. Isabel Garcia, News 8. Isabel, thank you. As mentioned, police are still searching for a third suspect in this incident. It was not confirmed whether or not they're a teenager or adult.